Good morning all. So I'll show you around the allotment. Starting off with the strawberry patch. Uh, which I'm hoping, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Well, I've got loads of flowers. We've actually got, uh, on some of the plants we've got strawberries. Uh, just trying to think, I was looking at one particular, well, yeah there's one down here. Sorry about the shade, I'm going into my, into the sun, but can you see that? Yeah, there we are. So we're starting to get them forming now. Oh, I've got a sweat on. I've been, uh, I've been sorting out in the small polytunnel and uh, I've been giving a few things away to other plot holders, having to tidy up, getting away for the new lot of strawberries while I'm on the way, the runners. Also uh, planted a few more plants into my raised bed here. Uh, so I've added some uh, zinnia in this morning. These plants here, I'll grow them all from seed. And I'll pop, pop those all along. And these taller ones are my, uh, yeah, my asters. Uh, I can't remember what else I've put in here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I've got sweet peas got the sweet peas and the asters, zinnia, pansies. I think we've got some of the earlier zinnias uh, just here what I grew. Uh, so I did that this morning. Oh, it's, 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 what time is it? It's just gone half nine. I've been up here since eight. And it's, uh, it's warm. So I've had a go on the on the smaller polytunnel allotment here. You can see all my uh, what we got here, courgettes. They're all growing well. Uh, that's a gherkin just there. Um, not sure what we got here. What we got here? Cucumber. Uh, another cucumber. Uh, and another one, and then these are tomato plants. Some of the tomato plants we've got more growing at home, and, and some more in the other polytunnel. Down here we've got a melon. And courgettes, just there. Hang on a minute. Oh, that's why. Sorry, I had the zoom right on. I couldn't understand why. I couldn't see. Properly. I've been going through my strawberry plants and uh, these are some of the varieties what I've got. Uh, so five, six, seven, there's only eight in there. I've got more, there must be more varieties at home but to be honest with you, the lesson I've learned is you forget what's what and the wind blows the labels off and then you, you're in a right pickle. So I might have to start again next year with some fresh plants because uh, I want to get as many varieties as I can. Then again, I've, di I've discovered this year that uh, El Santa's Hanoi, uh, yeah, El Santa and Hanoi are the two ones what seem to be producing the best in this polytunnel. Uh, I did have, uh, I've got red gauntlet, they're a slightly later. Um, oh, we've got Christine as well, I've had one or two off Christine, but El Santa is the variety for growing in the polytunnel, followed by Hunoi. That's from my observations this year. Um, let's see what we've got here. That's a Pegasus. Can you see that? It's not quite ready. That's not a bad one there. So they're starting a bit later. Uh, I've got nothing on there. What's this one? Let's see, I've not got a label. I took these out the... Uh, look at that. It's pretty good. Um, I took them out in a rush out of where this polytunnel is here on the floor. 
and I hadn't got the labels and I couldn't be bothered to buy any and well that's the result she, it's a mistake a lesson learnt don't rush so it's a cause yet so I don't think it's going to be that long before we will have some uh, got uh, another cause yet got some melon down there uh, gherkin seems to like it in here um, that's a cucumber and we picked a cucumber the other day and uh, I can show you which plant was it there we are can you see that We've got a nice nice size one there it's coming on it's uh i guess it's a 32 mil thick and it's sent but it's only about four uh four inch 100 mil long <sighs> oh, let's just have a look at see how that, that's not ready yet what I do is tend to turn some of the strawberries over to so get get the sun on it because the sun's coming over my shoulder at the minute and uh, so I just manoeuvre things around um, everything's been watered but uh, it's sagging a little bloody hot in here I don't know, I'll have to see oh the carrots, the carrots are at the back I've had to thin them right down um, and as you can see we have got the strawberry runners there's one it's not quite ready yet I've got these which have uh, which have been put into pots these two here uh, that's six there they'll recover um, as long as you keep watering them potatoes I'm going to give it another few days and I'll get my next lot up they were lovely those potatoes what we had first new potatoes but, uh, and this strawberry plant down here which is let's have a look it's an alpine it's a red and white <sighs> and we have got flowers on it and doesn't it looks really healthy that does um, they were the actual um, I grew them from seed last year and uh, they were just sickly sicklings when I put them in um, back in oh, well, I'll have to look on the videos but it's probably back in March or something February March I transplanted them uh, there's some uh, zinnias and growing Looking healthy, and we've got uh, we've got some more courgettes growing there. Um, we've got loads of different types of pansy pansies here. And that's it. I've just been called. Okay, I'm coming. Just been called by Ray up the top there for my cup of coffee. So, thanks for watching. Yeah. You see, we're all posh now. Look at this, we've got a tiled table. Yeah. And uh, there's Ray there. He's, uh, he looks after the allotments. And we've got Brian up here. Probably can't see him with the sun, but there we are. So it's just the three of us this morning. No, we don't want the grass mowing up. <laughs> this is life on the allotment as well. Look at that, eh? This is what it's all about for, for some people. <laughs> Oh, you, you want water now? Yeah. You'll have to stop videoing Morris, okay. you know. Thanks for watching. Oh, well, the, I have to say the coffee break then went down nicely. So it won't be long. Uh, we always eat early. We have our dinner at half eleven. But uh, I just thought I'd show you around to finish off the video. Just show you what's happening with the beans. Uh, in fact, I'll come over here to start here. Uh, so I've got some um, runner beans and French beans and as you can see they're climbing up the posts nicely. Um, I guess that one there, second from the end on the back, 
is probably uh, three foot high and this one here is not far off it's two foot the um, climbing French beans and the runner beans are growing nicely these were all grown from seed straight into air kohlrabi is forming um, if you ha haven't grown kohlrabi let me zoom in so you can... can you that point there where all the stems merge that's where you get the ball um, and you pick it when it's between golf ball and tennis ball size uh, I don't know how many varieties there is but I know that there's at least four uh, so anyway they're coming on nicely let's zoom back out for you so, um, the beetroot what I put in I was just giving these few thought right we'll stick them in they'll have a grow or they won't so they're fine broad beans looking really good full of flowers the current bushes are all doing all right. Um, not looked closely at these recently, so I don't know whether. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's a bit hard to do film when you're looking with your hand. I don't know whether that's got anything on or not. I could have swore they had fruit on, but... Oh yes, here we are. There we are. Can you see that? Currants. Oh, look at that. There's quite a few. And I suppose probably... Yeah, we've got some more on that one as well. This one... Is absolutely loaded with them. Look at it, uh, look at them. Can you see that? Sorry if you can't. So yeah, so that's that's this top bit. I do like it with the uh, raised beds and the it saves a lot of work, especially with the ground cover on. Uh, and then let's take you up here, show you how this is growing. These are my curly kale. I'm making nice little plants now they are. And we've got some four kohlrabi plants in here as well. So my mum will be happy because they're both her favourite plants. Vegetables to eat. We have a few strawberries dotted around. Now look at these ca cabbages. Look at these. I think these are greyhound. Let me see, let's go closer for you. There they are. What do you think to those? They don't look too bad, do they? Quite happy, quite contented with those. Moving across here. Here's my curl, um, kohlrabis again. And they are now starting to form. Uh, so I think maybe another couple of weeks, maybe even a week, because they've moved on a long while since, a long way since I last looked. Yeah, yeah, they're doing all right. Now these are broad beans. Now I've not looked at these recently. You can still see the flowers. I don't know if we've got any. Are they the beans? Yes, they are. Beans are forming. It's alright. And these are the ones, the broad beans, what were in the polytunnel. So these were grown a lot earlier. Can you see that? There's a bean. What's there? Look at that. <laughs> Sorry about it, I'm a bit, a bit childish, isn't I? Never mind. 
my little babies yeah quite pleased with that and I'm quite happy with the way the rhubarb's grown from seed from last year um, just remember that there were certain people who said uh, you're wasting your time uh, be no good they're saying you know it's you can't get good rhubarb from seed well I can tell you <laughs> These are looking good. I mean for one year old from from seed and Especially if you look at this one look at this Can you see that? I've actually had um, We actually had a few stems off this this year and that was grown that was set last May the 19th last year 2012 and it's 2013 now and it was that's a success they all are, I'm happy with them all. Um, I never thought we would get any uh, produce this year because you, you don't expect it for a couple of years really. So uh, you have to excuse the heaps of rubbish everywhere, it's all the weeding what's been done and I've got to get round to picking it up which is not my favourite job. Um, so I've got a few weeds what I've popped up here, stinging nettles, I missed those. So I weeded round here the other day. I'm, I haven't got really the space so you can see I've stuck a couple of uh, curly kale down there. Uh, and look at the uh, the vertical strawberry bed, Doesn't they look good, they look lush. Um, and then I've had to use the space along the side of the polytunnel there. Sorry it's in the shade so you can't really see but um, what we've put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've put in 15 bean plants. So they'll either survive or they won't. Uh, and the job now is actually to water them before I forget. So I've got to, say, I've got to get home now to get the dinner on. Uh, so yeah, doesn't that look lovely? Just look at that blossom. You know, you go around with your eyes closed. You just don't take in these beauties. And, you know, I've been coming down every day this year, and that's the first time I've noticed it. Just look at that. Doesn't it look nice above my shed in the picnic table? All right. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.